Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Stephen Kane. I help people with peripheral neuropathy get out of pain and back to doing the things that they love doing. One of the ways that I help is providing you with this video educational series where I give you tips to help you get better from your neuropathy. This particular video is about idiopathic peripheral neuropathy. Idiopathic means that they don't know what's causing it. It's also been called cryptogenic as well. Now the problem with this is that if you don't know what's causing your neuropathy, then well, you don't really know what to do to reverse the actual cause and truly get yourself better. And this is a big problem. So it's about one third of all people with neuropathy have been labeled idiopathic. Now, is that really the case? Is it that in a third of all neuropathies that they're unable to determine the cause or is it that the attending doctor just didn't have the time, the knowledge and or insurance was not willing to pay for the testing procedures necessary? In a study done by Dr. Peter Dick at the Mayo Clinic, they were able to determine the cause of idiopathic neuropathy 76% of the time when allowed to do all the required testing procedures. So hopefully you find this encouraging that you can determine the cause of your neuropathy. Stay persistent, keep educating yourself, ask more doctors for their opinion as to what's causing your neuropathy, because when you do eventually find out what's causing it, you'll have some extremely valuable information to help you get better and stay better. So as you continue to educate yourself, consider some of these possibilities as to what might be causing your neuropathy. First off, an autoimmune condition. There are many different types of autoimmune conditions that are causing many millions of cases of peripheral neuropathy. One example of this is a gluten sensitivity. It's been shown that in about one third of all idiopathic neuropathies that these people have a gluten sensitivity that could be stimulating their immune system to attack their own nerves. Furthermore, if you've ever been diagnosed with an autoimmune condition like Hashimoto's or Lyme disease, if you notice that your symptoms started after you got a bug bite or an infection or you stepped on a nail or maybe you took a vacation to a new location, if you notice that your neuropathy started within several weeks of this, then again, it could be an autoimmune mediated neuropathy. And in this case, I strongly encourage you to watch a video on the autoimmune protocol. This is a diet specifically for people that have an autoimmune condition. You can also consider getting a methylmalonic acid test. This is much more sensitive to a B12 deficiency than the actual regular B12 blood test itself. Prediabetes could be a cause of your neuropathy as well. Most doctors don't really consider this in their differential diagnosis, even though it has been shown that prediabetic can cause neuropathies. Furthermore, consider a genetic cause of your neuropathy. If you have numbness or weakness in your neuropathy, as opposed to pain, burning, tingling sensations. If you have a lack of sensation and weakness, this is much more indicative of a genetic neuropathy. Ask your doctor if this could be causing your neuropathy. And also you can ask for the genetic tests themselves. The good thing about these is that they are far less expensive than what they once were. What used to cost to do just one gene testing, now you can for that same price get the entire genetic panel all done. Furthermore, you ought to consider medications as a potential cause of your neuropathy. The more medications that you're taking, the more likely they are to cause your neuropathy. And lastly, what I feel is the most overlooked aspect when it comes to the cause of peripheral neuropathy is that it could be a combination of multiple things. For example, someone could be taking many different medications, including metformin, which is lowering their B12 levels, and this combination of a lack of B12 and multiple medications are causing their neuropathy. Someone else could have an autoimmune condition plus be prediabetic, and these two combined are causing the person's neuropathy. Bear in mind that you could very well have multiple causes. You're not just limited to one. So you can have multiple things that are having a cumulative effect in the damage that they cause to your nerves. Thank you for watching this video. If there's any topics in the future you'd like me to cover, leave it in the comments down below. Continue to educate yourself, apply what it is that you learn, and in time you will have yourself feeling better. And that means the world to me to make that happen. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video.